All right, I am so pleased to be joined by Jack Kassar, uh, who is a Carlton Raven. First of all, in the time of COVID-19, where are you calling me from and how are you doing? I'm currently calling you from Mississauga, Ontario. I just got back from uh, Florida, Tampa Bay, so I'm currently on quarantine. With finding out the combine was, was going to be cancelled. Walk me through the last couple of weeks for you and, and your emotions getting that news. Yeah, so it was kind of difficult getting that news, especially since I basically took the semester off school to train for it. I went down to Florida for six weeks, um, working out down there like crazy, um, preparing for it. And then I got the news like two days before I was supposed to leave that the combine was canceled, which is obviously unfortunate, but it's out of our hands. There's not really much else we can do. Marshall Ferguson, who I spoke to about you, had loads of good things to say. What do you think defines you as a player and how would you describe yourself? You know, I have that relentless attitude to always kind of want to be the best. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing, whether it's school or, or football related, I always try to be at the top. Like I'm, I'm pretty physical. Like I, I'm a middle linebacker, but I'm a traditionally a little bit bigger of a middle linebacker, especially in the CFL. And I like to, you know, in a way, put fear into the other player and kind of intimidate them and have that intimidation factor along with my aggressive play. So. What CFL player would you compare yourself to? That's a good question. Um, which CFL would I compare myself to? I'd have to say maybe like a Hanak Muamba. Mm -hmm. Although I didn't watch as much CFL last season as I wanted to, just kind of watching the Alouettes play and how Hanuk's style of play and also just coming from a Canadian university and having a long career as a middle linebacker in the CFL, something I always looked up to um, in him and I hope to, you know, kind of follow his footsteps and kind of be able to do what he's doing. You were taking an immense amount of time to prepare for the Combine, but what were you hoping to show scouts and GMs at the Combine? What were you most looking forward to? Yeah, so basically like a mock draft came out the other day and I think I was number 13 going to Edmonton, whatever, it's a mock draft. But at the same time, they mentioned that they weren't sure if I could run. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I also had injuries this season um, and last season, I fractured my ankle spring camp. So about this time last year, and then our last game of the season, I uh, I tore my meniscus. I feel like a lot of the scouts thought maybe I tore my ACL and it was going to be a long injury. But luckily, like I'm 100% today, I recovered well and I was down in Florida training to get my speed up to kind of prove those wrong that think I was not fast enough or not strong enough or whatever they thought. All right, Jack. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Make sure you stay well, stay in, uh, in isolation, and uh, we look forward to, to seeing more from you in the coming months. All right. Thanks, Brody. Appreciate it.